Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm so super excited. We are doing a DIY vanity decor. Super inexpensive. This is what my masterpiece came out like. We worked on the top pictures, wall art right above. Super affordable. This stuff was from the Dollar Tree. So if you want to know how I created this vanity wall decor, Ta-da! Just go ahead and keep on watching. And if you're new to my channel, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and also make sure to hit that notification bell so you can be notified for any further future videos as well as more DIYs coming your way. Alright guys, so we're gonna do a really quick pit stop here at the Dollar Tree store. I freaking love this store. If you really get creative, you can use so many of their items and it's so affordable and so super cute. So anyhow, we are gonna be picking up some picture frames because I have something in mind for my vanity. We need um, white picture frames. So we need candles. We need white candles if they have any. And we're gonna need books, flowers, and that little foamy stuff so we can stick the flowers on so they can stay on place. And we'll see what else we'll pick up. So we're just waiting for them to open. Um, they do open like in 15 minutes. I got here super early. So we're just waiting for them to open and then we can go ahead and get started. Okay, so let's go ahead and finally get started. And let me tell you what you're gonna need for your first DIY. All right, like I said, you are gonna need the Dollar Tree picture frames. These are the white ones. They are eight by 10. So you're gonna need as many as you want depending on how much decoration you wanna put up. You're also gonna be needing the push-up pins, thumbtacks, whatever you wanna call them. You're gonna be needing some of these. I prefer these because I don't want to use my husband to hang my, you know, my decor. I'm going to do it myself and these are a lot easier. You just push it in. You do not need a nail or a hammer or any of those hard tools. So you are going to need thumbtacks because the, the picture frames are very, very lightweight. So they're very easy to use together. Also, you will also be needing the Pinterest app is key, you guys. Pinterest is amazing let me just tell you so that's where my inspiration came from guys that's all I am doing um, aside of Pinterest you will also need a colored printer so as long as your printer has colored ink then you are good to go that's another main thing a lot of the things are gonna be through the printer so yes so let's go ahead and get started so where my inspiration came from um, I was just kind of going through vanity decor and I noticed that a lot of the girls have like really nice art right above their vanity. And I'll show you guys what my vanity looks like. I'll just flip it in a moment. Um, my vanity is fairly new, so I'm still not done decorating it. I will be doing a vanity tour because a lot of you guys have asked me for it as well as a room tour. I'm still in the works of working on the whole situation here that I have going on. Um, but I wanted something to put up there because I have this really big blank piece of wall. So I wanted to put some art up. And I went to Pinterest and I kind of came up with my own um, like little scheme that I wanted to work with. So right now at the moment, I'm very into like the Chanel, the Coco Chanel. I love that. And I also into like the Tiffany Blue. I love Tiffany & Co. Um, so I kind of have like something in mind I have some purchases in mind in the upcoming future and I kind of wanted to incorporate that into my room as well as the whole house because our whole house is pretty much um, the whole color scheme it's like that aqua um, turquoise color so I wanted to inc incorporate that into like my room and my vanity space area so it just kind of all ties in together so that's like my whole inspiration and where it came from so anyhow, I wanted to show you guys Pinterest because that's where it came from. And they have a lot, like they have so many, like you can pick your whole color scheme. They have like designer logos and like all of that. So it just depends on you, what you want to decorate. Um, so what I went to, I went to search and I went to art prints. So that's where I went to. And then you can just like start going through them and then whatever you like, you just save the image. That's 
basically what you are doing. So you are just gonna go to that, just search whatever you wanna print, just search it and a lot of stuff will start popping up. And that's like, oh my God, it's like endless. I love Pinterest. Um, so that's what I did. So just for example, let me find one that I really, really like and I'll show you guys what it is because I do need to print one up and then I'll show you what I have going on back here. Okay, so I really like this image right here. So I click on it, you're gonna keep scrolling down and there is so many more images underneath that. So you just keep scrolling until you find the actual image that you really like. And let's see, keep scrolling, keep scrolling. The possibilities are so endless. Like I love this, so love. Okay, so I found the image that I want. I really like that image. You're gonna go on to the three little dots right here, and you are gonna hit download image. So you're gonna hit that one. All right, your image was downloaded to your camera roll. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to your camera roll. Ah, let me pull it up. Okay. So here is the image right here, it is saved. So now all you have to do, my printer is already connected to my phone. So you're gonna hit this little arrow down here and then you're gonna scroll down where it says print. You're gonna go to print and it's asking you how many copies you want. It says select the printer. So you're gonna select whatever printer, mine is already connected. So. Here is my printer, so I'm gonna I'm gonna connect my printer onto my phone. It's connected, and then all you have to do is hit print. So we're gonna go ahead and print this image up, and I will show you guys the rest. All right, guys. So here is my printer. It is connected. I actually use this right here. It's the HP printer, and my image is now printing. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, so this is what our beautiful print looks like. Guys, go through Pinterest. You will find so many ideas. I actually have not seen any wall collages of Tiffany and Chanel meshed together. I just seen like different separate ones. It'll be like something like this. So what I did, let me just show you guys. So they'll have like different ones like this, but they're like pink and stuff like that. So what I did, I went through a bunch of little searches and I individually picked out the images that I wanted it. And I would put them, I would save the images, put them on my camera roll and just kind of saw how it was all together to make sure it would have like a nice story that it all like combined together, if you know what I mean. Um, so I did not do this because you can't, I didn't print up the full images. I printed each one individually and I came up with my own story, if that makes sense. Okay, so we are gonna go ahead. Now that we have our images printed, that's what I did individually with each print. I actually have like 12 of them back here. Um, we print them up, but since the printer paper is so big, we actually have to cut this to make it the size. So we're actually gonna open up our little picture frame. So you're gonna, open, it does have like a shrink wrap around it. So we're gonna open it up. Whoa. All right guys, now I'm gonna flip the camera this way so you guys can see what I'm working with. We have our picture frame open. I'm gonna open the little tabs that it has on the side. I'm actually gonna take this paper that comes in the picture frame and I'm gonna line it up to our little picture here. I'm actually gonna put it up in the sun and I'm actually gonna cut, yeah. So we're gonna cut these white edges so we can make it fit so it's matching the size of this picture, this paper that it came in with. Does that make sense? So we're just gonna cut it to make it the size of an 810.
Okay guys, are you ready for the masterpiece? So now that your paper is cut, you can go ahead and lay it on the picture frame. The edges don't have to be perfect because the edges, you really won't see them. So we're gonna go ahead and pop the back piece on again. You're gonna lay down the little tabs like so. Oh my God, I'm so excited. <laughs> and voila, you guys. So this is what it is looking like. Let me show you. It is so freaking cute. So I basically did this to all of my pictures that I printed up from Pinterest. So here you go. I hope that you guys like it. So voila, so we're gonna do the same thing to the rest of them. I'm actually gonna flip it. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm working with and I'll show you the end result. All right guys, so this is what my masterpiece is. I hope that you guys like it. So these all, I just printed, printed them up individually and I came up with my own story. You can mix and match them however you want. This is kind of like my setup, how I want to pin them on the wall. But I got this right here. This one already has a picture frame. This one's just cut. I have to put it in the picture frame. That's why we have like six more to go. So I have Tiffany and Co, Girl Boss. Chanel, Chanel Coco, Tiffany and Co, Tiffany and Co and Chanel. Like I love this whole like story. So you guys just get creative with it. Like you could come up with so many ideas are freaking endless. So you will just need the printer is like a key piece and it's so freaking affordable. So now we just gotta put the frames on the rest of these little pictures and hang them. Okay guys, this is what they look like after once they are all in their little picture frames. They look super fancy and luxurious, super high end, but they are totally not. Okay guys, and here is what my vanity is looking like before. So this is where the art is gonna go. I have this empty space right above it. Um, I am still working on my shelves down here, so that's another DIY, so stay tuned for that. But we're gonna focus on this blank area before. Here's the vanity before. All right guys, so here is the final result. That was the before, this is the after. This is what the wall art is looking like. It is so freaking cute. Don't mind my pinning. Um, I did this on my own, so I kind of eyeballed pinning the little, um, the little picture frame. But this is what it's looking like, and I did it in that scheme because my wall is angled up there. I don't know if you guys can tell but there is an angle. So that was like the best way for me to display the art. And that's what it's looking like. All right guys, so there is the final masterpiece in the background. I hope that you guys will like it. I hope this inspires you guys to get super creative and just go down to Pinterest because they are the bomb. Anyhow, I hope that you guys like this video. If you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe, ring my bell, leave your girls a big thumbs up if you like this video. Stay tuned for further DIY. And this is gonna be it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Bye-bye.